Hello everybody, um, I'm going to be talking today about how to get the most out of your Etsy shop, whether you have already got a shop or um, if you're starting from scratch, this is just going to give you a few tips and tricks of how to get the most out of your shop. So my name is Liz Pike, I have an Etsy shop called Little Bird Editions, I've been selling on there since 2017. Um, when it was 2020, just after the pandemic, I did a big overhaul of my shop. Um, I kind of really tweaked my keywords and I changed a lot of the photos and I did see a really big um, uplift in sales and traffic. So hopefully some of these tips will really help you to get your shops to stand out. Um, so let's just have a think about Etsy. Why is Etsy a good platform to sell on? Um, it's huge. It's really fast growing. It's the fourth fastest growing e-commerce company in 2021. And um, there are 81.9 million active buyers on Etsy. Um, one thing that is worth taking into consideration is that because Etsy is such a massive company and its SEO is so good and so strong, any search that any of your customers might put in for a product that you sell is likely to pop up on Google. So it's not just about Etsy. It's about their SEO and how powerful that is. So um, I'll show you later if I get time. Um, if you type in one of my keywords, I think it's about the fourth listing down. It shows Etsy and then a selection of their bestsellers in that category. So it's, yeah, from the SEO point, it's really worth using Etsy as a platform because it's just so strong. Um, so some other pros, yeah, strong SEO, huge potential audience, and you have no upfront fee to pay. So some other platforms, not on the high street, for example, there's quite a large fee to become a member. Um, but they Etsy will instead take a percentage of your sales. Um, I think it's about 12%, but there is in, I've done a handout. Um, and in that there's a link to a blog, which breaks down the sales. It's um, the fees for each sale. And it does get a bit technical, but you just need to factor that into your pricing. So, um, and just think of it as an investment in the SEO, an investment in a really great platform that gives you quite an easy way to set up a shop with a huge potential audience. Um, so it's relatively easy to build a business from scratch and to get that traffic to your shop. Cons, your shop can get lost. There's a lot of sellers. I think there's about 4.3 million active sellers. So there are a lot of shops and you need to make your shop stand out amongst all of those. Um, and it can be easy for customers to click away from your shop as well. Um, at the bottom, as we'll see later, as you scroll down, you, it just says similar products and it, they can easily click away. Um, the other thing is, how do you retain your customers once you've made a sale? How can you get them to keep coming back? So today I'm going to talk about these five points, how to optimize your shop and get the most sales and the best out of Etsy. Um, so we're going to be looking at five things, how to get searches for your item, how to get your products to pop up, how to get clicks on your products, how to make those sales and how to get your customers to come back for more. Okay. So this is my shop, Little Bird Editions, um, and I'm going to just show you one of my listings. And we're going to be looking at the first point, which is getting searches for your item. So this is one of my bestsellers, Happy Birthday Cards pack of 10. Um, and I'm just going to show you the title is really important. So your long tail keywords are key people that things that terms that your customers are going to search for, which are longer than just one word. Um, this may sound obvious, but the more specific the customer's search and the more accurately that you meet that search, you're more likely to make a sale. So that's a higher conversion rate. So here I've got 10 times happy birthday cards, pack, 10 pack with craft envelopes, A6, birthday cards pack, multi pack of 10 bird cards, bulk note card pack. So some of your customers may not know that they're searching for a 10 pack of happy birthday cards. They may think they're looking for uh, note cards, multi-pack of cards, um, you know, bulk pack, they might search for any of these things. And so you, it's important to get them into your title. You can also get them, if we go into edit, and then we come down. So this is when you're editing your listing. So this is where you put your keywords in here in your title, and it's important to use the entire field so as much as you can get in there um, and then further down here, you can also repeat it here because it just adds an extra level of SEO. And then here are your tags. So I've got pastel bird cards, birthday card bundle, 10 pack of cards, 
Um, so it's just anything that people might search for. I'm going to show you a tool which is on E-Rank. Some of these may look a bit obscure, luxury birthday card, birthday card sister, but this is the specific keywords that people might just come on and type in birthday card sister and your cards pop up and they're like, oh, well that would fit. So it's not necessarily um, what they think they're looking for. So this is erank.com and it's free. You can go onto here, um, make yourself an account, type in your shop name, and it will analyze your Etsy shop for you. It's a fantastic tool. Um, so I've put in here my one of my strongest uh, long tail keywords, happy birthday card pack. And it will show me how many average views I'm getting, the average price. Um, it will also show me keyword ideas. Now this is really useful. So all the ones in red, you have a huge competition. So it's probably not worth using that as a keyword. However, some of the ones in green, for example, this one, birthday card back, it's saying there's not that, so it's not an oversaturated market. So you could think about using that one. Keep going down. Floral birthday card. That has quite a lot of competition, but it is suitable. Birthday cards pack. So these are some of the ones that I am using in my shop. And if you just keep going down, it just gives you lots of ideas. Simple birthday card for things that, you know, aren't oversaturated and that will draw um, traffic to your shop. Um, if you keep going down, there's loads of ideas there. And I think you can have up to five free searches a day. Um, you've also got some other ideas, synonyms. Um, and then down here, you can see your competitors, the highest ranked shop, um, and what they're using for their keywords. So you can basically just See what other people are doing and pinch some of theirs i think one of mine is down here somewhere there we go that's one of my products so that just shows all my um keywords and my stats there so that is a really useful tool um think about seasonal trends so when you're coming up to christmas i tend to just put um stocking filler or gift idea as tags because that will just help things to pop up too um Put yourself in the customer's shoes. So it's like I said, it's not necessarily people aren't necessarily going to search for the how you would describe your product. For example, they might choose gift idea. And this like I have some of my card packs are lovely gift ideas because they come in a gift box. So just think about things like that. What put yourself in the customer's shoes. You can have 13 tags. So just make sure you use every single one because every single one can bring more traffic to your shop. Okay, so the next thing we're going to look at is after we've had get searches for your item is how to get your product to pop up. So as I mentioned before, you can use seasonal keywords. So coming up to Christmas, you've got things like stocking filler, gift idea, and then, um, you know, spring, we've got like Mother's Day, Valentine's Day, um, Father's Day, and just be sure to try and think about um, things that are coming up that you can use in your keywords um, and seasonal uh, keywords. So Etsy runs on momentum. So the more clicks and purchases and reviews that your shop is getting, the it's the Etsy thinks that it's doing a good job and that the customers are enjoying it. So it will bump your listings up the um up the um queue. So you need to um just put on the work, put in the work basically. So you're gonna be um giving really good customer service, dispatching your orders on time. Um, making really good products, gathering good reviews, and all of this is going to help bump your listing up. Um, so some ways that we can do that is to get clicks on your products. So I'm just going to talk about that now. When when we put in a search for, for example, happy birthday card pack, which is my one of my strongest keywords, this is the type of thing that your customer is going to see. Um, that's one of my products there. So just to be aware of how much you're communicating in a very small space, basically. Um, so you're having your your primary thumbnail image, um, the first few characters of your title, your average rating, how many ratings you've got, whether you're a star seller or not, your price and whether you're running a sale, um, whether you have free delivery and your estimate and how quick your shipping is. So just things to think about, What, how much information are you getting across in that initial first few characters? 
because mine are card packs and obviously my price is higher because a lot of the card packs are selling less cards i wanted to get that in straight away that each pack is 10 cards um the rest of it is my description for my keywords so that's not as important but and then so that i've put 10 straight away so everybody knows that's why it's more expensive than the others because you're getting 10. um use your photo to show um whether you provide envelopes so you can see mine are in the top of the picture there um, and then you've got your star seller, your sale. So I tend to mark mine up and always have a sale on because I just think it looks more attractive and you're likely to get more sales. Um, and then the photograph. So you can see my competition here. Um, you want a nice, bold photograph, simple. Obviously using a video helps because people can see the product more um, accurately as well. So this is on my competition. So I would say you don't need an expensive camera. Um, I just use my iPhone. The biggest thing for me is, um, if we go back to my shop, is just getting really good natural light. So I have a desk that's right by a south facing window in my house and I just wait for a sunny day. And I, these are just all done with my iPhone, but um, they look nice and bright. Um, it's kind of uniform. There are a few that are on a white background, but mostly, you know, they look like they're from the same shop. Um, some of these I could improve, that was a PDF, so that could be better. But um, yeah, on the whole, you just want to get them looking nice and uniform, nice and bright, nice and clear. So you can see how many cards are in each pack. You can see that there's envelopes and it's just really, it just answers all the customer's questions. So this is another thing of getting clicks. You know, it's clear what you're selling. You've, you've got the quantities of cards, that's all. It's just making it as easy as possible for the customer. Um, I was just going to recommend photoboards.org. Um, they provide this background here. So if you don't have a nice background, you can just buy, I think it's like a 30 by 30 board and just put it down and it helps you create nice photos with a clutter-free background. Um, yeah, just to say that don't worry about your photos because a lot of shoppers are using the app where the thumbnails are literally tiny. So just don't worry too much about buying a really expensive camera you don't really need to so this one thumbnail this is everything because this is the thing that's going to help your listing stand out in this pack so just work take a lot of time basically trying to get these as good as you can because that's one of the most powerful things that photograph the other thing to think about is um like i said about these little badges here if you have if you can offer free shipping just put the price of the shipping into the price of the item because then you get this badge. And again, that's another thing to persuade the customer to shop from your shop. So that's something else to think about. Um, number four, getting people to buy your products. So the things that are leading to this already, we have the um, long tail keywords. So people have searched for a specific item. And if you're selling that specific item, they're more likely to click through to it. You've got nice clear photos, a great description, so it's clear what you're selling and um, then all of that will be answering the customer's questions in your um, description here. You just want to make sure that you're answering all of the questions that the customer might have. So I have a mixed pack. So I've just said, you know, there's five different designs. You get two of each in the pack. They come with craft paper. And then another tip is to put listings for your, the, for your other products within this listing because then it's just another way that people to help people stay on your shop. As I was saying before, when you scroll down to the bottom, it says you may also like, so, you know, people can easily click away from your shop. So it just helps people to stay within your shop. Um, and then I've put here, I offer free shipping and also gift card and a gift wrap. And also just a note about how I post them out. So just answering all the customers questions, um, Quick shipping, I do one to three days, so I just have to ship out on a Tuesday and a Friday. Um, and that's enough for me to manage with everything else that's going on. Um, just being careful about how you ship things, shipping them carefully so they don't arrive damaged. Um, clear communication with your customers about how long they will take to arrive. Um, green credentials, think about trying to use plastic free because that's really important on Etsy at the moment. They're a, quite a green company and trying to um, be carbon neutral with a lot of their 
orders. So I most of my products are uh, plastic free, including all the packaging. Um, so it's all recyclable. Um, like I said, link to your other products in your product description. Um, and you can add variations. So I have these. Sorry, I just lost myself there. I have a variation of a gift box, which I had initially, I had that as a separate listing. Um, but then I wasn't selling many, so I've just added it into this listing. Um, and I'm selling a few more that way. Um, the last thing I was going to talk about is how to get your customers to come back for more. So obviously the first thing is gonna be good customer service. So if you're shipping out your products on time, um, I add a little postcard with a handwritten note as well. So that helps and I put a discount code on that. So if they come back for with a repeat order, they will get um, money off their next order. Um, and just, yeah, just good customer service. The other thing you can do is um, in your shop header, if you have a mailing list, you can add that into here, but you can't, you aren't allowed to um, add customers to your mailing list without their express consent. So you can invite them to sign up, but you can't sign them up. Um, and I don't invite people to come and leave me nice reviews. I just find that they do that anyway, because they like the products and they like the service. So I don't think you need to worry about um, asking people to leave you reviews or anything. Um, I think that's everything. There's lots more tips that I've put in the handout. So that was just a little quick run through. Okay, so my three main takeaways for your Etsy shop are keywords, get your long tail keywords, really work on these, use that E-Rank tool to find the best possible keywords for your products. Um, and it will really bring a lot more traffic to your listings. Strong images, like I said, just think about the, those tiny bits of information that the customer can see on the thumbnail. So your image, your title, your reviews, your price, your sale, um, whether you do free shipping, all that is so important because that's what's going to get people to click on your product. Um, and then obviously high standards in everything you do. Make sure that you're really pleased with all of your products. Only sell something if you're really proud of it and you've put the time into it and you're happy with every element and you're happy with the packaging and you're happy with the price. Um, I've also put some tips about pricing in the handout as well. Um, and then customer service, shipping time, just make sure that everything you do, you're really proud of. Um, and I think that will hopefully help you to transform your Etsy shops and bring lots of customers and hopefully we'll have lots of happy customers leaving you lovely reviews. So I hope that's been helpful. Um, I've got my contact details on the handout as well. So if you want to give me an email or ask any other questions, then I'm happy to help. All right, thanks. Bye.